The Nigerian Medical Association, NMA in Lagos State, has asked its members to embark on an indefinite sit-at-home industrial action over alleged harassment and intimidation by security agents in the state. The NMA gave the stay-at-home directive in a statement signed by its chairman, Dr. Sali Oseni, and secretary, Dr. Ramon Maronkola, on Wednesday. According to the statement, the directive takes effect from 6 p.m. The doctors accused police officers in Lagos of acting contrary to the directives of the federal government on lockdown order, noting that their members are unsafe. Joining us live is Dr. Philip Ekbe, chairman, NMA, Abuja Tapter. Good evening, Dr. Philip, and thank you for joining us on the news. Good evening. Your counterparts in Lagos have decided to stage a sit-at-home protest over alleged harassment by police. Can you share their experience and also that of your own members? Oh, thank you very much. Um, I think this period is a period of healthcare workers. Doctors should be respected. Just like during the normal regular war, where you have to respect the military men because of what they're doing, risking their life for us. Now the Healthcare workers, the doctors are risking their life for us. So it is not good enough that uh, the, the IG should make a release that doctors or healthcare workers are not exempted from the coffee. And then they will not begin to molest them and harass them. I have several cases to cite in the FCT. There is one that occurred in Julius Vega where the doctors fought tires were deflated. There's another one that occurred from UATH to Zubwa. He, he closed work by nine o'clock. On his way home, they told him, they asked him, he showed them the ID cards. They didn't want to know. And they made him to sit down on the floor among the people. Yeah. Then there's also another, so many of them, on and on and on. Three, four days ago, a doctor was slapped at Apple by a drunk policeman. So if our life is no longer safe, then we should sit down at home so that we don't get molested or one day we'll see accidental discharge. Thank you. All right. that, that instruction, that order by the IG or police has seen it rescind, uh, rescinded upon, and so I think it's safe for um, yes, we, essential we, workers to move are, around now. But prior yes, to this time, Dr. 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 Phillips, like prior, sure. Dr. Phillips, like prior to this time, yes. did your association make any move or log a complaint to the police authority? And if you did, yes, what was their response? In all this situation, we lodge complaint. They try as much as possible to see how to avoid the situation. But unfortunately, the first men at the different posts are acting independently, despite the instruction from, from their superior. So we make safe efforts with the commission of police, with the director of security, and all of them that are concerned up above. And Yet, this harassment of healthcare workers, majorly even doc including doctors, is still ongoing on a daily basis. Only for the Secretary of Police to make that kind of uh, statement. Yes, I'm aware that he has withdrawn the statement, but the problem is that will the news go around enough that he has withdrawn the statement, or the men will continue to act on the first statement before they now realize that he has withdrawn the statement? By that time, damage will already be done. Do you think it's still necessary to go ahead with the sit-at-home directive, despite the order being rescinded upon? Well, I'm not going to uh, make any suggestion with regards to that. But if I'm the one, I will still be a little bit worried, especially for the first men that are on the road who have not heard that he has withdrawn this statement. Now, well, finally, Dr. Philip Ekwe, what is paramount for you, your association, especially the healthcare providers, at, at the fall of fighting this pandemic? And what is, your, what is paramount for you right now? Well, what is paramount is that people should adhere to instructions that prevent the spread of the coronavirus disease. That is what is most important. Our government should be more proactive to, to act to test more uh, uh, cases and uh, also bring palliatives to, to the citizens who are not able to do their normal daily uh, work that they used to feed their family. Dr. Philip Ekbe, the chairman, Nigeria Medical Association, Abuja Chapter, thank you for your time, for joining us on the news. Thank you.